2020 has arrived and we are getting older, but no matter how old we get, we will continue to watch anime for the rest of our lives. However, there have been a lot of major changes throughout the years, especially better quality since, in this decade, all anime started using 16x9 dimensions instead of the old square format. In addition, each of the four seasons has an average of 35 animes, and you may be following three or four at the very least. Quantity does not mean quality. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! The purpose of this video is to be a great changelog of the major and minor changes that have been done through these years, so any element seen in the past will not be included. The fact that KyoAni makes godlike animation, that Shingeki no Kyojin was very popular in a decade, that sports anime is more glamorous than ever, that your team waifu A or team waifu B that if anime can make you cry or not, or if robot anime only works to sell toys, is nothing new. And although we have had very romantic anime in these years, I have to inform you that there have been many of this in the previous decade and with less unnecessary lengthening. So, let's see what the most important milestones of this decade have been. The Eroge who became a success in selling servants. The Fate franchise is one series that has had the most impact this decade on the anime scene as well as all the wallets of whoever plays Fate Grand Order nowadays. What's more is that now almost all anime is done with the idea that it must have a mobile game, since it is the best way to get money, but let's focus on the actual topic. Originally created as an eroge or adult visual novel in 2004, and with an anime in 2006, the Fate series started on the right foot in 2011 with Fate Zero. The basic idea of Fate is a deathmatch between charismatic mythological heroes and other complicated plots with magic and heroism. And in this decade, we have been hungry for deathmatch type anime. Fate Zero managed to arouse the great interest of the public thanks to its animation. But when many heard that this was a prequel series, we had to know where all this was going. Now the Fate Saga has released so many series that it is necessary to investigate a chronological order to watch the series properly. And by god do so many people need this guide. To Infinity and Isekai! <sighs> I remember that, in the past, going to a different world was a guaranteed adventure experience. You could find yourself in very incredible situations because you don't know what you could expect. So what you do is you compress that, you pack it up, and then you sell it. And then you sell it again, and then you sell it again, and then you sell it again. The idea of Isekai anime has been so widespread that it has already lost its value. You can no longer expect anything new from these anime, because you have already an idea about where the story is going. The fact that a truck hits you should not be synonymous with laughter, but with tragedy. What the hell is wrong with you guys? <sighs> Never mind. The problem with this generalization lies in the number of series that have already used it. Manga, visual novels, movies, anime, etc. It's like if Michael Bay, who made movie explosions, lose their epic value and became the most mundane thing in action movies. Hopefully this next decade, this genre could present some evolution as the next topic. The Renaissance of Space Anime Space, The Last Frontier Four Anime Boobs Okay, let's start over. Space has been a recurring element in the past. The idea of traveling to space was to have adventures, fight aliens, explore the unknown, and of course, many other science fiction elements. However, due to the obvious limitations of the time, explaining or detailing these elements was very difficult. To represent these elements in their best form, several years will be required. In some cases of sci-fi anime, they would depend too much on their visual aspects. And in other cases, we will have this. This revival of ancient space opera revives the success of its originals. In anime terms, Yamato is the big brother of Star Wars. Space battleship Yamato defeated Star Wars Challenger in 1978 in Japanese cinemas, and Legend of Galactic Heroes is known for being the most popular space travel novel in Japan. But this not only happens with old works, but more of recent mangas like Sidonia no Kishi. 
These theories are very interesting in political and social issues, such as artificial intelligence technology and the difference between democracies and dictatorships, all combined within futuristic worlds. Although these issues are also appreciated in robot anime, the focus of attention is on the robots, relegating the most of the interesting themes to the background. And the best example of this is Macross Delta, who replaced several of the main foundations of its predecessors with this. Although, maybe what you want is just to see spaceships fighting. Don't worry, there's going to be plenty of that. The Death of Filler, or at least in some good cases. In this decade, Naruto has finally concluded. Or, so we believed. The reality is that Boruto followed his father's legacy. And that is damn filler. When we talk about adaptations of long manga, such as shonen, filler is something obligatory to which we are exposed to in addition to those sweet moments of bad animation quality. However, the miracle has happened that we have finally had shonen anime without filler and excellent quality. Who would imagine that Madhouse would make a long adaptation? That studio is known for not doing sequels. Now, you may believe that it is most common to make such an anime, but the truth is that anime is made with money to get more money, and this often limits what the original material can offer. So, I would recommend you not lose hope and keep looking you may find some underrated jewels. Moe Military Propaganda The military topic has been a hidden genre in the anime in the past, but these began to become popular when they were mixed with more popular elements such as Moe and Isekai. However, another factor that intervened in this was anthropomorphism, which means attribution of human form qualities to what is not human. And as you can clearly see in this graph, this is getting worse. Much worse. Although this became popular in 2013 with Kantai Collection, there are already several projects that plan to continue with it in the coming years. Born edgy and died trying. Gore, blood, and violence is something that has been seen in many stories. But all of them have made a terrible mistake when adapted, and that is not knowing what to do after that. I can't remember a single edgy anime with a good conclusion. The sad thing is that most of the case, it's not the fault of the original material or author, but of the anime's own format. Either because there is a limit of episodes to make the arcs or the budget run out sooner than expected, these errors have triggered serious mistakes such as the pace of the series, the addition or removal of characters, or the hated original endings. Excellent ideas have failed to be developed in their most advanced phases and only left a bad memory of that series. Although, this was not all bad. As an extra point of this, we have the increasing popularity of edgy girl anime. The two anime girls have always had two faces, the pink and the blood-colored, like Sailor Moon or Nanaha. But it was Puella Magi Madoka Magica who wanted to exploit this edgy feature of the ma magical girls more. And so other anime came out that sought to do the same such as Gako Gorashi, Ikusei Keikaku, or Fate-Colored Liner Prisma Ilia. I guess that's all. Right? There's... Th that's all, right? There's nothing left to talk about anymore. R right? Right? <sighs> Why? 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 Because suddenly this started to become more popular. It's not as if traps became popular because cross-dressing had suddenly been invented, but the idea becomes attractive because it is a damn fetish that increases its stimulation because of the strangest factor. While most of the blame for this comes from the imagination that the audience has, anime characters have made this romanticism more popular. It is difficult to say that this attraction comes from homosexuality because the reason is that a trap is interesting and it's because of its features being more on the greater feminine side. That is why it may sound gay, but many people believe it's not. And while we're mentioning fetishes, please don't forget about zoophilia too. With both successes or mistakes, although perhaps the biggest question is, what genre will be the next big thing? Animation studios are already starting to place their bet. Let the race begin. Greetings, I am known as Renoji. Because the author of this channel is involved in several projects, it has been difficult to make more videos more often. Moreover, this time the video was made in English for various reasons. We hope you liked the video and we wish you a happy year 2020.